So what do you think? I didn't think this place existed. Well, it does. Today, we are looking at some incredible apartments, kind of like this one. <laughs> Everything we're looking at today is downtown in lower Manhattan, where there's lots of spray paint and stickers. Anyways, let's check these places out. If you think they suck, leave a funny comment that makes me laugh. This is a two bedroom apartment for $42.95. It's not that big, but it's full of features like this light up beverage cooler, dishwasher, and while you're watching your laundry, you can get a snack. If your arm is long enough, mine might not be. But believe it or not, this is not the smallest apartment in this part of town. I've seen kitchens that were narrower with half the appliances. There's even a microwave, that's a feature, because usually you have to bring your own sink sprayer. Behind my bag, there's outlets for coffee makers. Interesting horizontal drawers. This backyard is private, but the neighbors might be able to see you. And this is nine feet, five inches by nine feet, seven inches. Much better than your neighbor's balcony. Look at how tiny those are. You're gonna want something down here that has like a canopy, like one of those tables with the umbrella above it. There's a light, there's a power outlet. No one's ever been electrocuted by this. And there's a lock. That'll keep the bad guys out. Not much out here, um, but it is quiet. This bedroom is gonna be awesome for sleeping. And the door swings out, so it's a little bit bigger. It's nine and a half by eight and a half, so any extra space definitely helps. Bed probably goes over here. And the closet has sliding doors. And the other bedroom has sliding doors as well. And to get to the deck, this is uh, the bedroom that you have to walk through. 12 feet by nine and a half feet. The closet is actually double-sided, so we have this over there as well. So if you get this room, it's better, but you've got the foot traffic going to the outside. The living room is pretty much the exact same size, but even this small space is workable. See the kitchen? Put a table right there and mount your TV above that. And then over here, you can have an L-shaped couch in the corner. That works. And, uh, and these plug-in deals, I'm pretty sure these are heaters. It has a full-size tub. You could take a bath in here and relax in this position. You can sit here like a king and watch TikToks. Sink's big, water pressure's strong. And look at this, we got decent, um, is this storage? Okay, yeah, medicine cabinets. If you wanna save $100 a month, this is what one of the places with the balcony is like. That's the patio of the downstairs apartment, and then this is the outdoor space upstairs. Not everyone needs outdoor space, and this is essentially the exact same apartment. Living room's in the same place, the kitchen's the same. Smaller dishwasher though, I like to pull down tight better. But I think the smaller, darker room might be a little bit bigger. It comes with an AC, that's good. And the view is just as exciting. Clean looking building, but how did that get there? Did you put it there to make my apartments look better? Need artwork. How are you? Good. Uh, there's like a barn door on a hinge. So I guess this door makes it a one bedroom. That's a much nicer slider. See how gentle I am? I know that was gentle. There's laundry. And this is a pretty legit laundry room for such a small building. Look, we've got a whole bunch of machines. It seems pretty well maintained. Sink, 250, card activated. And you can even go for a ride in the cart. Anything over here? Nope. The entryway here is pretty good. Check this out, we got a big closet. I didn't even see that one. And check out the bathroom, look at this toilet. It's got a kick flush. Yo, look at the tub. Oh, 
man, it fits one person who's exactly my height. Look, my feet are right there. You see that? There we go. Oh, you didn't break it this time. Throw your undies in there and then they can go in the wash. Definitely an old school bathroom, but it's super nice. I like it when they do stuff like this instead of renovating things to take away the character. That's character. The kitchen looks kind of small next to this massive man right here. Oh, look at that, oven, microwave. How's the fridge? Fridge is medium, but... Oh, it opens the other way? Okay, right. that's not too bad. Stove is nice, sink is big, we got the sprayer right here. And there's definitely enough cabinets, I like the kitchen. What do you think goes over here, couch? You can put an L-shaped couch over here. You could possibly launch your TV on the opposite direction. Oh, yeah, that's good. And then put like a table like right underneath it in this area because then it's by your kitchen. What's up with this closet? Why is it slanted like that? Is that the building staircase going under there? No, maybe it was an earthquake when you were building it. Oh, okay. And they, the workers kept working through the earthquake. Yeah, they were. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is what it's like. These bars are strong. I feel good. I feel safe. I Bye -bye. Yeah, are you going to SantaCon? I am. Nice. I love your outfit. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, this apartment's a lot Look, nicer. I have good news for you. Look, yes. look at the toilet. It's clogged proof. Oh. Not that you have that problem, <laughs> but maybe somebody else. It's a lot nicer than mine upstairs. So you live upstairs? Yeah, I live upstairs. Really? So upstairs, you're in a studio. Yeah. It's the same, it's smaller and there's no. Smaller. smaller. Wow. Okay. No countertop. And it's what, 23? 25. 25. Is this lock or? Yeah, it locks. Okay. And then this one doesn't move at all, so I don't think anybody's, no one's gonna come in here. They might come in to take those boots. <laughs> They're hot. <laughs> So the crazy thing about this place is right there is Broadway and Astor. That's incredible. This goes for $72.50. And it's how many beds? It's two bed, two bath, wash and dry in unit. Crazy view going on out these windows. Look at that, you can see one of those annoying tour buses. All those people must be freezing. If you rent this place from Charles, you can watch them all day. Endless entertainment. Oh, look at that. Cute little chandelier up here. Did a tenant put that in or the landlord? The landlord, that's how good your landlord is. Where's the laundry? You said there was laundry. Man, I told you, it's when you walk in. Oh, it's this way. But why does every landlord buy the same washing machine? Because they're the best. Okay. Bosh. All right, now we're gonna see if they built it right. One, okay, you're not gonna do that at the same time. Well, this dishwasher is nice, man. This looks brand new, actually. GE. It is brand new. Yo, this is a nice fridge, man. Look at that. Dual sided, couple ice makers. We've got one up here. We've got the little vegetable trays and stuff in here. Look at this one. It's got some sort of thing on it. And we got a big microwave where you could reheat any amount of delivery in there. Sink sprayer. Is this the drain for the sink? Oh, yeah, that must be. And look, if you make stuff in this kitchen, you could set it out here for your guest, Mr. Charles Monroe. Can I get a club soda? Yeah, sure. This is all your prep space next to the range. If you're looking for like one complaint about the kitchen, I think that's it. Because look, they got cabinets everywhere, very nice lighting. This whole thing just looks awesome. This living room's 24 by 15. This is the reason this place costs as much as it does. There's no other view like this anywhere else in the city because this building is on the corner. Luckily, it comes with shades for these things. Oh, these are uh, track lights and it looks like they haven't been installed yet. If those end up up there, this is gonna look awesome. Now, since that's where the kitchen is, I'd probably put a big table in this corner. That's for an entertainment center and then you could have other seating kind of filling out the rest of the room here. Dude, this has like the perfect amount of closet space in this bedroom. All the storage you need in the world. That's a bathroom? Look at this, we got the 1985 station wagon trim right here on your shower, but hey, it's your shower. Ooh, look at that. Clean. Clean? Clean. We don't have to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the water pressure? 
better be good for $7,000. And look, we got ourselves some decent storage in here too. Vanity lights for an attached bath, this ain't bad. Just no tub though, some people might want a tub. I could have been so much nastier to the other apartments, but I saved it all for this one because there's really nothing wrong with it. See, look at that, this bathroom right here, it does have a tub. And you're gonna get a new toilet seat to go with your throne, but everything else in here is the same. Now we're in the second bedroom, it's a little bit smaller, but look, the heater's boxed off nicely. Every room in this apartment has a free AC. And this one has the cool light. I think that makes up for the fact that it's a little bit smaller. Only one closet here instead of three. Okay, that's not bad, got a couple bars. My guess is bed in the corner by the windows and then kind of build the rest of the room around it. Yo, this is not a studio, it's a two bedroom. Dude, it works. You were in the military, right? Yeah, we had to sleep and stuff like this. Yeah, so this is like being on a US submarine. Not really. Yo, but look, there's a closet or a hanger in this closet. You got the shelves over here. Now at $3,600, this is definitely cheaper than the place next door. It does look a little bit different, but we've got some crazy storage out here in the hallway. And that second bedroom is actually gonna be up here. You get your little Romeo and Juliet thing going on. Dude, this is cool, man. Look at that, it's like this own little apartment up here. This is like a five foot ceiling. Where would you put the bed? Would you put it there or would you put it on this ledge? Oh, I actually put it up there. Okay. A little bit of Yo, a twin size bed right here? Twin size mattress, that works. Yeah, it does. After you jump down, you can have like dressers and like a little bench over here. This column is kind of massive, but it gives you a nice view of the living room. How is it getting down? 18 feet two inches by 16 feet three inches. But that 16 foot is over here. It's more like 10 feet in the middle. We've also got the same corner view because we're next to the other apartment. You can look out and see this gym across the street. Now, since the kitchen's over there, you're probably gonna want a table in this area, entertainment over there, and all the rest of this can be seating. That sounds like a good setup. Out here in the hall, we've got ourselves like another little storage area. I feel like this is bigger than that other apartment, even though it might not be as fancy. I don't know. This this dishwasher, to me, that looks fancy. Oh Full man. Burner. Ooh, look at that. A little light. And it has a fan. You can see exactly what you're doing. It's like a real chef. And it's got a microwave. Yo, can you reach that? That one? Ugh. I mean, oh, <laughs> look, look inside. That's the plug for the microwave. Oh, that's see? smart. That's Counter space is good though. You could have a lot of appliances in here. There's definitely more prep space. If they were to renovate this kitchen, I'm sure the price would change by at least 500 bucks. What do you think? I think so. Dude, this is a good looking bathroom. Oh yeah. Look at how clear that glass is, man. I can see your beautiful face right there. <laughs> Seriously, it's nice and bright in here. This is definitely on par with everything else we've seen so far. The best studio in downtown. But is it clean? Yeah, it is. Everything clean. Water pressure, no difference. Storage cabinets all here. Yo, how much is this? Yo, is this a working fireplace? Yes, it is. Look at that. Santa's gonna come right down that chimney. I don't think it's gonna be through that chimney. You can't fit. What's crazy is that like this, it's not as small as the studio. It's not as nice as that first place. Is it like Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Just right. We've got a westward facing view here. We're looking out towards the West Village, so in the evening we're gonna get more light. Look, I can see the trains right down there. That's how close we are to the train. Next to the kitchen, this is like the perfect spot for a table and you can put your memorabilia up there. Couch over here. And then we got a coat closet. Looks like it's pretty good. You got your Jack and Jill going oh, on. Oh, it's a Jack and Jill? One of those pass-through bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, the bedroom is over here. That's cool, so you can kind of like walk from where the living room is right through here. We've got like a normal tub. No glass uh, wall for us, just a shower curtain. And the shower wand. So they curved out. Yeah, they hollowed it out. Oh, thinking outside the box. <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely a solid layout for a one bedroom. We got the two closets, bed, desk, it'll fit pretty much everything. Kitchen is beautiful. Oh, it is. It's just as beautiful as the other kitchen. We have the upgraded model of the oven though. Look at this. It's like the, the big dog four burner right here. You can fit bigger pots, right? Right, but a lot of you are gonna say, oh, it's dated. Oh, I don't know. Hi, how are you? Hi. Come on in. Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> Uh-oh. You know I do the videos, come on. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you a ca cash? Yeah, that's me. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. No. 
changed his name to Cash Money. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that one before. I've heard one of those now. Yeah. You, can't, you won't find this a lot yeah. in the city. What's crazy is everything we've seen today is going to rent. If you want to live in any of these, talk to Mr. Charles. I'll put his info in the description. Subscribe if you had fun. See you soon. Please subscribe to the